In this demo we'll be looking at two tools for your online reading. Names are Digo and Zotero and at the moment we're on the Digo homepage. Both of these tools will require you to install add-ins into your browser. Digo will work with any browser. Zotero will only work with uh, Mozilla Firefox. With the Digo tool, it's more for general online reading, whereas Zotero is more for people who are doing academic or research type work. So for both these tools, you do need to create an account, uh, which you can do there from the Digo homepage. And once they're installed, um, you'll see extra things appearing in your browser. Uh, I'm just rolling over the Digo toolbar there. So when you're browsing online, there's a few different things you can do. You can bookmark your page. So this will mean that you're able to find this page uh, from any computer by logging into your Digo account. You can add tags also so that you can organize your bookmarks um, in a way that makes things more findable for you. So we might tag that with journal summaries maybe also with continuing professional development because this blog is a summary of weekly journal content. So we'll say save to that and that will save to our library but before I show you that I'll just show you the highlighter tool so you can click on that to basically when you're reading through the page capture individual bits of content which is really helpful if you're reading a whole web page but you only want to uh, retain a certain piece of it. Uh, the capture tool is basically uh, your own annotations. Uh, so you can put arrows and text or whatever you want. Um, and to save that you just hit the save button or just escape uh, to get out of it. But to access the things that you save you click down on the Digo button and go to my library. And this will show you your most current bookmarks with all their tags and you can click on individual tags that you use there or type them in to go quickly to a group of things with that tag. But uh, the annotation that we made is actually under that link there. So this is the site that we bookmarked and then that's the individual annotation that we highlighted. So really useful for keeping track of little pieces of reading that you're doing as you're browsing online. Zotero is a little bit different. As I said, it's more for people who are engaged with research and with writing. Uh, for the reason that it is a generator of your citations, you can use it with Microsoft Word. And when you're browsing online and it recognizes a journal article, you'll know that uh, it's recognized as a journal article by looking in the top URL bar. You can see there's a little paper icon that says save to Zotero. As with Digo, you do need to install your add-ins previously to make this work. And as I mentioned, it will only work with Mozilla Firefox. But when I click on there, you can see down in the extreme bottom right, it says saving item. Down in this area of the screen is where you can access the whole library. So if I click on there, you can see there's actually three papers that are saved. And over here we have all the bibliographic information that's used for citing. Now it will work with Microsoft Word and back on the Zotero homepage, um, there's quite a good video which you can watch. But if you don't want to create a whole library, you can actually just drag and drop. Um, your citations into a Word document like that or into an email. Uh, the place where you change your settings is just underneath that little cog symbol and then preferences. So if you want to change from APA 6 there's many other styles that you can use there. But both Digo and Zotero are really really helpful tools, both free tools which will help you to manage your online reading and help you to basically retain and recall and return to information that you've found useful when you've been browsing online.